Plydeck ICC system, the waterproof deck coating for plywood substrates. Plydeck ICC 2097 system is a waterproof deck coating for plywood substrates that offers extreme durability. The Plydeck system has been installed since 1978 and has been subjected to extensive ASTM testing for the acceptance criteria of ICCES. The Plydeck base coat performs so well that the many builders rely on Plydeck 6000 PSI base coat to provide a durable construction coat that offers early protection throughout the construction phase. It is imperative that all required flashing specifications are adhered to prior to the application of the Plydeck ICC system. The substrate should be inspected for proper slope, nailing, and excessive deflection. If deficiencies are identified, proper corrective measures should be taken. The plywood sheeting should be sloped in the framing stage at a quarter inch per foot. This is also known as a 2% fall, which is required to be no greater than that for the ADA and FHA regulations. On enclosed decks where deck drains or scuffers are used, care must be taken to ensure that water is diverted appropriately. Please reference to the auxiliary sloping section for instructions for cricketing between scuffers. When elevators access the upper level units, ADA and FHA regulations require that the interior and exterior floor elevations are no greater than one half inch differential at entry doors, but can be up to four inch differential at secondary balcony entrances. Local building jurisdictions may vary on the four inch balcony differential. Plydeck has tested their product over exterior plywood sheeting as well as OSB oriented strand board. Plydeck requires a minimum five eighths inch sheeting, but recommends a three quarter inch tongue and groove plywood sheeting over a standard joist spacing of 16 inches on center. If tongue and groove sheeting is not used, it is imperative that all plywood seams be properly blocked to eliminate deflection. If joists are spaced greater than 16 on center, the fiberglass and PD resin application is required. Joists should not span further than 24 inches on center. Please contact Plydeck for recommendations on all assemblies that exceed 16 on center. For the American Plywood Association guidelines, all plywood sheeting needs to be installed to have a 1 8 inch gap between sheets. Groove sheeting is used. The butt ends will require gapping. It is imperative that the tongue and groove be installed to allow for additional movement. If butt seams are not gapped properly, the plywood seam must be cut with a skill saw to establish the 1 8 inch gap. If the substrate is tongue and groove, it is extremely important that the tongue and groove not be cut as to compromise the integrity of that joint. With wrought iron railings, are to be on the deck surface, it is recommended that the support posts are installed prior to the deck coating installation so the expanded metal lath and base coat can be installed over the base plates and lag bolts. This not only seals the penetrations left by the lag bolts, but it also serves to divert the water away from the railing, thus preventing rust, corrosion, and staining. This application is considered a permanent installation method. If railing base plates are lagged through the completed deck system, it is the responsibility of the railing contractor to properly caulk the penetrations and properly maintain the caulking in the future to ensure that water intrusion is prevented. Fascia mounted railing systems avoid unnecessary deck penetrations when they are incorporated into the building's design. Installation of the ply deck system. Prior to the installation of the ply deck system, the surface should be thoroughly cleaned of dust and debris Proper sheet metal flashing should be in place and the Plydex seam paper should be installed over all four sides of the plywood sheeting after the edges have been properly gapped. It is imperative that the seams be treated with a proper Plydex supplied two inch seam paper to ensure proper performance at this intersection. The 2.5 hot dip galvanized expanded metal lath is laid out over the entire horizontal surface extending to the furthermost edges of the deck and overlapped approximately three quarters of an inch between sheets. The expanded metal lath should be laid out in a staggered pattern and not end on a plywood joint. The lathing is stapled every two inches at the lathing to lathing overlaps, as well as every two inches over this Plydex seam paper. The rest of the field is stapled in such a way as to average 12 staples per square foot. After the lathing is installed, the Plydex base coat is mixed by adding one bag of GU80 gray base coat to one gallon of GU80 liquid admix. One pint of water may be added to each batch if necessary. In high temperatures, it is imperative that the GU80 products be kept out of direct sun prior to mixing. It may become necessary to chill the GU80 liquid admix in ice buckets prior to mixing to extend the pot life of the mixed products. The base coat spreads out over the expanded metal lath at an average of 28 to 30 square feet per batch, which should cover the metal lath completely. After the base coat has properly cured, an optional screed coat could be installed if necessary. The screed coat becomes necessary when the base coat has imperfections or if the metal lathing is not fully covered. The screed coat consists of one and one quarter gallons of GU80 liquid admix, one bag of GU80 top coat, and up to one pint of water to achieve the desired consistency. The screed coat is troweled at a rate of approximately 150 to 175 square feet per batch. For the installation of the screed coat, it may be necessary to grind the imperfections in the base coat to create a uniform surface. As crews become more experienced in installing the Plydeck base coat, they should not have imperfections that require grinding. 
Platic system offers an additional waterproofing layer of fiberglass resin that provides increased flexibility. This application becomes required in the following conditions. Larger decks that are approaching the dimensions of 10 by 20, areas that have joist spacing greater than 16 on center, cantilevered decks, decks that require excessive auxiliary sloping, decks that are installed in severe weather environments, and when the Plydeck use system is used as an underlayment for concrete or tile. Installation of the fiberglass mat and the PD resin. The fiberglass is sold in a 50 inch roll that are approximately 300 feet long. The 3 quarter ounce chop stranded fiberglass mat is laid out over the entire base or screed coat application, overlapping the fiberglass approximately one half inch at all adjacent sheets. Once the fiberglass has been properly laid out, the PD resin is thoroughly mixed and poured over the fiberglass mat and spread out using a steel pool trowel. Coverage rates average between 40 to 50 square feet per gallon and it is supplied in five gallon containers. It is extremely important that the PD resin completely saturate through the fiberglass. During the application, wrinkles and bubbles can be eliminated by aggressively scraping the side of the pool trowel over the troubled area. After the PD resin has fully cured, an inspection should be done to ensure that no bubbles or wrinkles are present. Any deficiencies can be cut out and patched with additional fiberglass and PD resin. After the appropriate intermediate coat is installed and cured, Plytic requires that a urethane caulk be installed at all wall-to-deck junctions, as well as around wood and metal posts. From this point, the Plytic system is prepared to receive the desired finish coat. The Plytic system has a wide variety of finish options ranging from a knockdown texture to a hand troweled or pattern finish. Please refer to the alternate finish options chapter of this video for further demonstrations of the variety of finish options.